Hello my friends. I'm going to be doing a pour today a la B.R. Turner Art. If you're not familiar with his channel, check it out. He um, uses the best colors and his application of paint is very imaginative and a lot of fun to watch his videos. So check him out. Let me quickly show you the last um, pour I did with a split cup. This was done with the um, polycrylic mix I am so fond of. And I just want to point out how beautifully crisp these lines are. It dries just like you leave it, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's available on my website if you're interested. I put a bunch of round paintings on there recently at CouracyPaints.com. Today I'm pouring over this one. I think I did a video on this long, long, long ago, but I don't have any more canvases this side and I'm, size and I'm not attached to it and I'm just experimenting. So um, that's why I'm using it up. Now I thought it would be fun. I'm just using three colors today. Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Blue, Cad Orange Deep, and Soft Body in White. I've got white, the blue, the orange, and then I did mix some blue and white together to come up with a lighter shade. So I have in mind to do something I'm going to call orange flash. So I want what comes out last to be the orange. So I'm going to pour that in the cup first. Blue and orange being um, complementary colors opposite one another on the color wheel, they really pop when they're next to one another, so I think I'll put a good amount in there. Because that's, that's all I'm going to use. I wish it hadn't run down the side. I should have poured it in more carefully. Uh, now some white to separate the two. The blue. I'll run that down the side. And I do want to maintain a lot of negative space, so I'm not going to fill this cup. But now I'll layer the blue and the light blue. I'm just using Floetrol and paint. Four parts Floetrol, one part paint. No water added. I always put my recipe down below in the description box, the exact recipe I use. I don't hold any information back from you. I want you to have success if you're going to try to duplicate something. Although, of course, there is an element of experience involved and uh, the way you, you pour it out and tilt your canvas, of course, is going to make a difference. But um, I tell you everything. Everything I know. If you're interested in a mixing video, let me know. I have done a few, but for the most part, I just tell you exactly what in the description box, so there's no question. All right, let's get this out of the way. So I'm going to start with some white. Have a little more standing by in case I feel I need it, but and I probably will. Okay, now. I'm going to pour from the clean side here. And I'm going to do, as I said, kind of trying to follow what B.R. Turner does. I'm going to, well, you'll see. <laughs> I want to explain it. Just watch. Here we go. When I see that orange, 
Well, I don't see it yet. Where is it? Come on, Orange, where are you? Here it comes. Okay, well, I was hoping to have orange up here, but that's very interesting looking. I think I better pour um, this other white. I think it's the same type of mix, although it looks pretty lumpy. But it'll just help. Um, oh my, it's terrible. <laughs> it'll just act as a flow extender, hopefully. But I will fish out those lumps. It's been sitting around for days. I should have uh, been a little more careful with it. Look at that. That's no good. There's a big lump. I generally mix my paints fresh before each pour. Um, but if I have any leftovers or if I've thought ahead and done it ahead of time, I will cover it with the cup with press and seal, but I didn't even cover that one. So that's why I ended up with those icky lumps. It's been sitting around for a week. Okay, well, let's see what happens when we move this around. I'd like to maintain um, neg some negative space. So here we go. He doesn't talk at all. He just, um, he has great music. But I kind of like to think out loud. I think some of you appreciate that as I'm pouring, tilting. Oh, look at all those lumps, terrible. I'll fish those out after I'm done with the composition. I'm gonna keep some white up there. Come back. Okay, I got some cells because I used so much Floetrol in here. No um, silicone. Well, it's kind of fun. Now you see how that orange and just pops because uh, because as I said, it's as you know, it's a complementary color of blue and side by side they are really dynamic. Oh look, there's even some little blue cells in there. Of course I got some mixing going on there. Huh. I don't know what I think about this. A little more left. I wonder if I should do anything with it. It's orange of course. Should I run some lines? They're not going to hold because it's um, just flow trawl. Am I going to ruin it if I do that? I wish I had used even less paint in this cup because I would have preferred more negative space. I don't think I'll run any lines. There's a lot of interesting things going on. So um, I would, I'd like to bring the orange over more, but I don't want to lose this, so I think I'll stop. Or not. I think uh, I don't I want to make it a little more off-center. Because I don't want to lose oh, I'm hemming and hawing.
just want to change up the location of that orange a little bit. There, I think I like that better. Think I don't know. Am I done? I don't like it. I do not like it. What shall I do? Well, if I lose that entirely, I lose the whole purpose of my orange. This looks kind of pretty. If I bring that over, I'm going to lose all this interesting stuff. Goodbye, orange. Maybe I better do something with this just to try to tie that orange in with the rest of the painting. Was that insane? That's more what I had in mind that would run through it, not just a blob at the end there. Now maybe I should run that orange thing off there. And then I'm running that off. I kind of like it now. <laughs> well, that was nutty.
It's a lot of Floetrol. You get interesting, interesting effects. I don't usually use this much. Well, I wanted an orange flash, and I certainly got it. I don't know. Took a long way to get there. Thanks for joining me, my friends. Bye.